स्पाइनल कोर्ड एपेंडिमोमा कैंसरस और नॉट कैंसरस स्पाइनल कोर्ड ट्यूमर एपेंडिमोमा इज इट कैंसरस डेफिनेशन स्पाइनल एपेंडिमोमा इज अ टाइप ऑफ ट्यूमर दैट अराइजेस फ्रॉम द एपेंडिमल सेल्स लाइनिंग द सेंट्रल कैनाल ऑफ द स्पाइनल कोर्ड क्लासिफिकेशन स्पाइनल एपेंडिमोमास आर टिपिकली कंसिडर्ड बनाइन और लो ग्रेड मलिग्नेंट ट्यूमर्स मीनिंग दे हैव द पोटेंशियल टू रिकर बट डू नॉट टिपिकली स्प्रेड टू अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी कैंसरस नेचर ऑफ स्पाइनल एपेंडिमोमा ट्यूमर बिहेवियर Spinal ependymomas are typically slow-growing tumors that tend to remain localized within the spinal cord without spreading to distant sites. Invasion of surrounding tissue, although spinal ependymomas can infiltrate and invade nearby tissues within the spinal cord, they do not typically invade adjacent structures outside the spinal cord or metastasize to distant organs. Mitotic activity Spinal ependymomas usually exhibit low mitotic activity which is a measure of cell division and is typically lower. Diagnosis and grading. Diagnosis: Spinal ependymomas are typically diagnosed through imaging tests such as MRI or CT scan along with a biopsy to confirm the tumor's origin and characteristics. Grading: Spinal ependymomas are graded based on their histological features including cellular characteristics, mitotic activity and presence of necrosis. Grade I tumors are considered benign, while grade 2 and 3 tumors are classified as low grade and high grade malignant tumors respectively. Treatment and prognosis: Treatment options: The treatment approach for spinal ependymoma depends on various factors including the tumor's location, size, grade, and the patient's overall health. Treatment options may include surgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. Safe maximal surgical excision is the treatment of choice. Prognosis: The prognosis for spinal ependymoma is generally favorable especially for grade I and II tumors that are completely resected. However, the prognosis for grade 3 tumors may be less favorable due to their higher potential for recurrence and aggressive behavior. Follow-up and monitoring. Follow-up regular follow-up appointments with a healthcare provider are important for patients with spinal ependymoma to monitor for any signs of recurrence or complications monitoring follow-up appointments may include imaging tests neurological examinations and assessments of functional status to monitor the tumor's status and the patient's overall well-being rehabilitation rehabilitation and supportive care may be an important part of the treatment plan for spinal ependymoma patients as the tumor and its treatment may affect neurological function and quality of life medical disclaimer it's important to consult a qualified healthcare professional for accurate diagnosis treatment and management of spinal ependymoma or any other medical condition This PowerPoint presentation provides a general overview and should not be considered as medical advice. Thank you.